guys, last set of problems here on lesson seven. We're looking at number four. And it is taking these coins and rolling them in rotations. So it gives me diameter of all of these, but it would really be nice to add to this little table uh, the circumference of all of them. So I'm going to add C on this bottom, and we're going to write down all their circumferences by just taking it and multiplying it by pi. All right, so the first one is 1.9, so we're going to multiply it by pi. And we're going to get the first one has a circumference of 5.966. So we're going to write 5.97. Uh, we'll just round to the nearest hundredth. And then 2.1, get multiplied by pi. Its circumference for a nickel is roughly about 6.59. All right, these are centimeters, 6.59. And then for a dime is 1.8. So we're going to do 1.8 times pi which is 3.14 and that gives us 5.65 so 5.65 and then the circumference for the quarter we got to multiply the 2.4 times pi so 2.4 <coughs> times 3.14 bada bing bada boom lots of different coins this one goes the furthest because it has the biggest size so we'll do 7.54 all right, so we rounded those a little bit. That's okay. Coin rolls the distance of 33 centimeters in five rotations. Which coin is it? So we really want to know which of those numbers times five would be about 33. So I want to guess the one that's probably slightly under six. It's got to be the penny or the dime because five times six is uh, 30. So for it to be 33, uh, it'd have to be a little bit well, hold on. Let me rephrase that. The coin goes 33 centimeters in five rotations. So I got to be able to multiply one of these numbers by five and get over 30. So it's got to be over six slightly. I'm going to say the nickel. Let's try it out. 6.59 times five. So 6.59 times five. Close to 33? Yes. So we're going to say the nickel. What coin is it? The nickel. All right, next one. A quarter makes eight rotations. How far did it roll? We just got to do 7.54 times eight. So 7.54 times eight. And that gives us 60.32. 60.32 centimeters. Dime rows 41.8 centimeters. How many rotations did it make? You take the 41.8 and you divide by the 5.65. So we'll do that and we got our answer. Just got to divide to find out how many times it spun to get that distance. So the distance that it went rolled divided by the distance around it, 5.65. And that is about 7.4. About 7.4. How many rotations? About 7.4. And there we go. There's number four.